Image Credit Brandon Magna Chuffa LLC Zufa LLC Via Getty Image Snicko Montano and Roxanne Mata Ferry went to war to crown the inaugural Ultimate Fighting Championship UFC Women's Flyweight title holder. Montano landed a leg kick early. A combination was there for Mata Ferry. Montano answered with a left hand. Mata Ferry landed a body kick. They tied up and Montano landed a knee to the body. Montano caught a kick and took her opponent down. Mata Ferry looked for an armbar, but nothing doing. Mata Ferry scored a takedown near the end of the round. Midoa Ferry landed a right hand early in the second round and put the pressure on. Montano locked in triangle and rained down elbows. Mata Ferry survived the round. Round 3 was contested on the feet. Mata Ferry looked to have the edge in the round if you go by statistics. Montano came on strong near the end as both fighters traded leather. Mata Ferry looked a bit off balanced by a punch early in the fourth round. Montano landed a leg kick and her strikes began to flow. At this point, Montano was winning the striking battle in the fight. She had a combination that sent Mata Ferry backing back. Montano took her opponent down. She looked for a knee. Blood poured from the nose of Montano and Mata Ferry began landing combinations. Montano sensed danger and took Mata Ferry down after eating a knee. A combination connected for Montano. Mata Ferry was taken down. She rained down some ground and pound before choosing to stand back up. Mata Ferry went for her own takedown, but it was reversed and she ended up on her back. An uppercut was there for Montano. Mata Ferry's armbar attempt went nowhere. Mata Ferry once again attacked the arm, but Montano popped her arm free. The fight ended with both fighters slugging it out. All three judges scored the fight for Montano, who is now the inaugural UFC Women's Flyweight Champion. Final result Nico Montano Def. Roxanne Mata Ferry via unanimous decision 5045, 4946 next Sean Amelie vs. Terry and Wear full fight video highlights.